What is food coma? It is a stage in which you experience a tired, sleepy feeling that many people claim to experience after eating a big meal. Food coma, do you know that there's a clinical term for it? Postprandial somnolence. So what does that mean? I don't speak Latin. Post means after, prandial means eating food, and somnolence means the state of feeling drowsy, ready to fall asleep. Let's go back to the Latin word somnus, meaning sleep and drowsiness. Question: We gain energy from calories, so the more food we eat, the more energetic we should be, right? So why do we get tired and sleepy after eating? What exactly happened? The blood flow theory. The theory suggests that when we eat, our body pumps blood from other parts of the body, like the brain, to the stomach, and then digests its tract to help with the digestion and absorption of food nutrients. However, this theory is not entirely correct. The reason is that, according to scientific studies, the blood is actually coming from your skeletal muscle and not exactly from your brain. The brain is the organ that acts like the control center that is in charge of directing blood flow from other places to your gut for energy and activities. So therefore, the brain is always have the minimum blood flow to function effectively. With enough blood flow volume in your brain, technically, you should not feel tired and sleepy after eating a big meal. How our body processes food for nutrients theory. Your body can only focus on doing so many things at once. When you have a big meal, your brain, the control system send out signals to send blood flow toward digestion tract to help break down all the foods that you just eat. Insulin levels search to help lower blood glucose levels, aka the sugar level in your body, which in turn can lead to people feeling tired and low energy. In recent years, there's a surprise research study done on fruit flies, eating and sleeping patterns. According to the study, the cause of food coma can be linked to protein and salt along with the time of the day the food was consumed. Surprisingly, sugar did not seem to play a huge contribution role to food coma. Scientists suggest that it could be due to how much work our body need to process protein and salt, and therefore our body required and demand more energy to extract out all the necessary nutrients in protein and salt from the food we eat. Secondium rium theory Secondium rium also contributes to the development of food coma. Our body has this biological clock that influences our body hormones and neurotransmitters that lead to drowsiness and sleepiness at a certain time of the day. Even if you don't eat lunch, you will still get sleepy due to circadian rhythm clock, but when you do eat at a certain time, it has a compound effect and BAM! You will get hit with a big feeling of drowsiness that makes you want to go to sleep. Also, deep in the evening, due to a decrease in body temperature that usually happens after the sun goes down, Dinner usually dramatically increases the food coma effect. Nervous system and hormone theories. From a science point of view, when we eat food, our parasympathetic nervous system activates and responsible for digestion and absorption of food. And when this happens, to conserve energy, our body slows down our heart rate and other minor activities while increases intestinal gut activity to absorb the food nutrients. Therefore, we tend to feel less active and energized throughout our body and have this full feeling in our stomach. Serotonin, a neurotransmitter that is produced from amino acid tryptophan, is responsible for fueling our relaxation and sleepiness. After we eat, the amount of tryptophan in our body increases due to the food, especially if we eat a lot of carbohydrate. But currently, we do not have enough scientific study done to confirm this yet. How to prevent a food coma? It may seem impossible at times, but there are some things that you can do that may help. One. Eat smaller meals. The bigger your meal is, the greater chance you will feel full and stuffed, which will eventually make you feel lazy and inactive. Hence, increase the chance of sleepiness. 2. Try to lower or replace your daily carbohydrate with low glycemic indexes like wheat, oatmeal, and non-starchy foods. 3. Try less salt in your meal if possible, because it will lead you to drink more liquid after your meal, which in turn make, will make you feel fuller and lazier. Thanks for watching.